Who in the 15th century could possibly have dreamed that one day man would fly in the air like a bird without giving it a second thought? Or move beneath the ocean with a device that would allow him to breathe as naturally as on land? Or go to war in armored vehicles that carried their own cannons and were operated by a crew inside? One man did. His name was Leonardo da Vinci, and today his dreams are part of our everyday lives. So often it takes time for good ideas to be accepted and put to work. But eventually logic and technology win out, and we all benefit. Today the concept of a mass transit system forming a railroad in the sky is much more than just a dream. Its technology and feasibility are very real. It is called Aerobus by Parks. Aerobus is an overhead transportation system for moving passengers and freight quietly, safely, and without pollution. Electrically powered cars travel along a patented cable guideway suspension system which can use existing right-of-ways and span surface obstacles. Aerobus requires less space for pylons and supports and can be installed in less time than light rail systems. Its capital requirements and its operational and maintenance costs are much lower than for conventional systems. Aerobus provides safe, comfortable, pollution-free transportation. The cars may be air-conditioned and the system does not contribute to street congestion. The total capacity of the system can easily be increased by adding track and vehicles. Aerobus may be constructed to enter buildings where passengers can be discharged or taken on, and this capability can be integrated into intermediate stations. Proven signaling systems, as used by conventional rail systems, are provided, and the system is designed in accordance with all relevant transit safety requirements. The system can be fully automated. A special freight version of the Aerobus can take containers to storage yards trucks or trains, and can also move those containers from the storage yards to other distribution points, as well as from the storage yard to dockside for shipment. The freight system can be operated manually or semi-automatically, using the same guideway as the passenger system. Aerobus was the idea of Swiss engineer Gerhard Müller, who built his first Aerobus prototype in 1972 near Zurich and tested it on a demonstration track there. This first generation of the Aerobus was deemed so environmentally compatible that it was permitted to run through an ecological reserve. The second generation of the system was built in Mannheim, Germany in 1975 for transporting visitors to a horticultural exposition. During the six months of the event, the Aerobus carried some two and a half million passengers over a two-mile route without a single incident and with high levels of reliability. The system ran through the city center and across the Neckar River. Where curves were needed in the route, a fixed rail guideway was employed with articulated cars. The transition from the cables used in the straight segments to the rail used in the curves was so smooth that passengers were not even aware of it. As planned, the Mannheim system was dismantled after the exposition ended, and it made a lasting impression on people studying the mass transit question. In 1979, the Urban Mass Transportation Administration of the United States Department of Commerce issued its report on the Aerobus system used in Mannheim. Among its conclusions were, the Mannheim Aerobus demonstrated cable technology which offers a feasible solution to urban transportation problems. The administration also observed that passengers endured waiting time to experience the Aerobus trip even though bus service was available. In 1980, the third generation of the Aerobus system was built in Dietlikon, Switzerland. The purpose was to test evolutionary improvements generated by the Mannheim experience. The fourth generation included redesign with improvements for use 
in a system proposed for the city of Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia, but not yet constructed pending financing. In 1987, Fred Parks of Houston purchased the Aerobus patents and technology and began development of the fifth generation of the system, incorporating the latest technological refinements. This generation will include the development of evolutionary design improvements and a full-sized demonstration facility. Fred Parks is also forming companies to continue updating and improving the system and to market Aerobus internationally. To better understand the system, let's briefly review a few key terms of cable technology. A street bus uses streets as guideways, unlike our suspended overhead guideway system. A guideway is the system that supports and guides the vehicles. In the case of Aerobus, cable technology is used for this purpose. The track cable supports the vehicle, and the suspension cable supports the track cable. Pylons, in turn, support the cables. This current generation of the Aerobus features electrically powered vehicles and cable-supported overhead guideways. The guideway structure is comprised of two sets of cables, suspension and runway cables interconnected by vertical hanger cables. The vehicle's weight passing over the guideway forces the track into a horizontal position for smooth trestle passage. The pylons which support the guideway are normally spaced 600 feet apart, or approximately 200 meters. However, they can be spaced as much as 4,000 feet, or about 1,200 meters apart, in order to span obstacles. These pylons can be configured to site-specific requirements, as for example, portal pylons, cantilevered pylons, and others. Where curves or station platforms are required, the system uses a fixed rail guideway designed for a smooth transition from cable to rail. All along the guideway, insulated power rails provide a safe, reliable, and weather-protected power supply to the vehicles. During peak hours, the cars can operate with a headway of one and one-half minutes at a maximum speed of 40 miles per hour, or about 63 kilometers per hour. The cars of this highly energy efficient system are self-propelled by their own electric motors. They employ a multiple brake system and use pneumatic power to operate the doors. The cars may be manually operated, semi-automated, or fully automated. And they may be air conditioned if desired. The advantages of the Aerobus Railroad in the Sky are numerous. To recap the principal ones, the Aerobus uses existing right-of-ways. Long spans between pylons allow the system to be integrated into congested downtown applications with little land requirements. Aerobus can transport 10,000 passengers per hour per direction. It offers a single-lane shuttle system as well as a double lane system permitting simultaneous traffic in two directions. Operational switches allow network applications, and the system avoids ground traffic, thereby reducing street congestion. The Aerobus system easily spans obstacles. It is pollution-free and quiet. It provides a scenic, comfortable, quiet ride above congested streets. The visual intrusion of the system in the environment is much less than with other transit systems. And most important of all, it can be installed relatively quickly and with much lower costs for both installation and operation than other mass transit alternatives. In addition, Aerobus may be used to move freight, such as shipborne containers to and from dockside and various loading and distribution points. For more information, contact Aerobus by Parks, 1300 Houston Club Building, Houston, Texas 77002, or call area code 713-222-6251.
You may also contact us by Telefax 713-222-7501 or Telex 765-352. Aerobus is truly a railroad in the sky, an idea whose time has come. No longer just a dream, but a very real system with real benefits for municipalities searching for a safe, efficient, quiet, and economical mass transportation system. Maybe it's time you put the Aerobus idea to work for you.